That's a hard beat, boy. Shout to Kev Brown. Kev Brown, fire. Very underrated MC slash beat maker, in my opinion. Slash producer, I should say. Y'all go check some of his shit out, right? Superman 3, that's just hard. DJS, subscribe, like, comment, share. Let me know what y'all think. Hit the sub, please, and thank y'all. Give me a sub. Salute. Now, let's talk about this card. We're going to Chicago. We're going to the Midwest. Relapse card. We're going to talk about that and some other key matchups in a, a battle rap filled weekend. We're talking like about 16, 17 cards, whatever the fuck it is. It's a lot of cards, so there's a lot of predictions. So there's a lot of things I want to talk about real fast. So we're going to flow right through them. All right? Let's start right here. Big Cannon and Lou Castro. Give Big Cannon his flowers real fast. Big Cannon is a vet. He's been doing it. He's dangerous to me. I've always been a fan of Big Cannon's talent. As a battler, he brings a lot of tools to the shed that he's really, really good with. Freestyling, rebuttaling, being funny. He has tools that he's really, really... That, 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 those tools are sharp. You got to give it to him. Y'all go back and watch Big Cannon vs. Mo Dirty. Y'all go back and watch Big Cannon vs. M-City. We can go back to Holmesy. Go back, though. Go back, though. Go back to his early battles on RBE. Big Cannon is fucking dangerous. And unless he's not motivated, which is the one thing I'm going to say, unless he's not motivated, not prepared, or whatever the case may be, he normally wins. If not, it's going to be a debatable. He don't lose when he's actually working, working. Not very often. Not very often. Only thing is, as I said, I think I feel like sometimes he's not he's underprepared or he's not motivated. One of the two. One of the two. It's either he's yoking up, trying to find a freestyle to, to fix back where he was, whatever the case may be. It just seems like he's not super prepared or super motivated. And I hope that's not the case here because you're at home. And I don't think he's gonna be because he's at home. Lou Castro, though, kind of the same thing. A little bit more of a, a, a of a stardom burst. With the A big dog and all that. What what was he on? Double impact. I think no answer madness in one year. Whatever the hell whatever it was. Gotta give it props. Gotta give this man his props. Gotta give him his fucking respect. Lou Castro is dangerous too. Lou is a star. Gotta give it to him. He's a star. And he's dope. He's also entertaining. Also has the tools in the shed. Well, I'm going to pick somebody this battle. I'm going to pick on this particular because he's at home. And I don't think he's going to want to, like, how you want to die at home? You don't want to lose at home, right? So you're going to go up there as prepared as you possibly can. I don't think we're going to have an ill-prepared or an underprepared or an unmotivated big cannon this time. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think we're going to have a big cannon that's actually there to cook. If this is a three-round battle, I got... If this is a three-round battle, I'm going to go Big Cannon, 2-1. Because he's at home, I know he's going to cook. His pen, to me, is a little bit sharper than Lou's and all that type of stuff. So I feel like his punch is going to be a little bit more potent anyway. At least within the setup to the punch, it's going to be a little bit more potent. Even though Lou is fire and he be punching too. He be having some fire setups too, I ain't going to lie. But I'm going to edge this one to Big Cannon. You're at home. I expect you to cook. Big Cannon, 2-1. Shout out to both of them, though. I like both. I'm a fan of actually both of them, to be honest with you. Heavy Half versus Fonz. No disrespect to Heavy Half. You have a tall task ahead of you. Even though Heavy Half, I like his delivery. I like his energy. He has that real serious aura to him. Like, he's dead serious. Like, he be battling... And the aggression that he comes with, it, it, it just seems different to me. I fuck with Heavy Half. But he has a tall order ahead of him. Fonz is no joke. No joke. One of the top punches out right now. So I got Fonz. Again, if it's 2-1. Or if it's a three-round battle, I got Fonz 2-1. This could be a good one. Should be a good one, though. Heavy Half is dope. But I got Fonz. Young Cannon versus NXT. 
Young Cannon versus NXT. I like NXT a little bit, but YK I've always been a fan of. Young Cannon is dope. Consistently always hitting. I fuck with Young Cannon. Young Cannon is fucking dope to me. The OBC, so long as he can get that under control a little bit and have his material a little bit more fresh or whatever the case may be, YK will be kicking a lot of people's ass. And he don't even lose like that either. Hit just like Big Cannon. I feel like YK is even more of someone who doesn't lose like that, though. I got YK. I'm going to edge YK. I like NXT, though. NXT is dope, though. He has these moments where he be setting up a punch and stuff the way he does it. It be fire to me. It be fire to me. NXT is kind of dope. I'm not going to lie. He is. But I got YK winning. Shout out to YK. Trufo and B-Mac. Y'all know B-Mac is one of the things I've been watching since. The Bags and Bodies. And he's dope. He be scheming. He dope. He be scheming. Trufo is just an all-round... Just a firecracker. He has some bars. He has the talk to go with it. It's be the believability with Trufo is definitely there for sure. We believe you, my nigga. We believe. I'm going to edge this battle, though. I'm going to edge it to Foe because Foe has a different level of energy and performance and um, delivery than B-Mac. I feel like it's a little bit higher. B-Mac's pen's a little bit stronger, but I like Trufo a little bit more as a battle as far as the way he battles. A little bit more aggressive, a little bit more, more voiceless and all that. I like B-Mac. His pen is crazy. I like the way he be writing. I love the scheming. I'm going to go Trufo. I got Trufo. Shout out to B-Mac though. Jade versus Eon. Nigga. This should be a crazy fucking female battle. These, both these females are fucking fire. Eon dope and so is Jade. Jade dope. I've been said Jade is fire. I, I've been said that shit. Shout out to We Go Harder. She Go Harder. Whatever you want to call it. Shout out to Steams and all them over there. Oh, Eon is fire though. Eon fire. I feel like Eon's delivery and all that is a little bit sharper. I feel like her energy is a little bit higher when she battles. She has more of a... I would say like like her, her confidence shows a little bit more than, than Jade. Sometimes I feel like Jade, like she's now gaining her confidence on stage and now, you know what I mean? Gaining that, you know what I mean? That confidence behind her. Eon, on the other hand, is just fucking a firecracker. She dope. But bar for bar, Jade is fucking super nice. Bar for bar, Jade is super nice. So is Eon. This is a, this is a 2 1 either way. I'm going to go 2 1 either way. But I'm going to edge it to Jade. I'm going to edge it to Jade because I've been a fan of Jade that much. So it's not really a bias, but I'm a fan of hers and I know how fire her pen is. And I, I know how fire she can be. And hit back to back when she needs to. I got Jade. I got Jade. Alright, so that's the relapse card. Right? Other key matchups I see this weekend. Don Marino versus Mike P. I like Don Marino. I like Don Marino. Hold on a second. You battling twice this weekend? Anyway. I got Mike P no matter what. Mike P, Mike P right now, one of the most dangerous people right now in battle. Since he came off URL, the two battles or three battles that we've seen off of the platform, he's been wilding. He's been fucking wilding. Him and Rosenberg were one of the best battles of the year so far. Shout out to Mike P. I got Mike P. You know, other ones I see, let me shout these out real fast. Whole Life Vito versus Suge. Probably be a one-rounder. I got Suge. Swervo versus Murder. Shout out to OSBL. Homecoming. This one should be good. Swervo and Murder, I like that matchup. I like that matchup. I got, I got Swervo though. Swervo fire. But M Murder is dope too. I like Murder. What do you think? Like he's the original twerk or whatever the fuck? He dope. I got him. I got Swervo winning. Who else they got? P Black versus Top Floor Loot. I want to see Loot. I want to see Loot do good. So I got Top Floor. Glocktober I seen. Prez Mafia and Bose. I don't know if this is Bose the Bambino. 
I hope it is. But I want to see Prez cook, so I got Prez winning. Because I want to see Prez cook. He's fucking talented and he's fire. He's fire. Shout out to Prez. Get back in your bag, homie. Get back in your bag. Bless the mic. Kill switch. They had some shit too. Head ice versus Gwitty. That should be a good year. I got head ice winning for sure. Um, Theory truth versus Saga. That should be a good one. I got Saga winning that one though. That should be a good one though. Shout out to Saga. Saga. Shout out to the music too. Saga's doing some shit with this music right now. Gotta give it up to him. Um, Skull. The Smoke of New York. Fresh off the fight with Adep. Damn, I got score winning. I've always been a fan of score anyway. Score nice. Score definitely nice. Now, other, let me shout out the other leagues that have their things going on as well. Shout out to Hit List. They got the Angels, God, Devils, Demons card. Shout out to that. Hope that goes, on, goes good. MLB, Devils Night 4. They got Bad News, J Love. Your boy Peanut. Shout out to the boy Peanut. Get him some plates. I've been telling y'all that since bags and bodies. Get that nigga some plates. He fire. He fire. Shout out to everybody who's battling this weekend. Hope everyone does good. That's my opinion and prediction of a battlefield weekend with a bunch of different cards, a bunch of different mashups. I had to talk about some of them. I had to talk about some of them. But that was my opinion. That's my prediction. Subscribe, like, comment, share, let me know what y'all think. Hit the sub, man. Please and thank y'all. Love y'all, all right? One.